Welcome back to another Destiny 2 Lightfall video, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about the Philotactic Spiral Legendary Pulse Rifle. We've got a God Roll Guide going over all the perks and stats. So when you guys are crafting this Pulse Rifle, you guys know what to craft so you don't waste your materials. Before we get into this, look at this analytic right here. If you're watching this, you're probably not subscribed. Do yourself a favor, subscribe to the channel. It costs you absolutely nothing. And with that being said, let's get into it. This Pulse Rifle can be obtained by doing activities on Nia Muna, things like the new Override activity and ranking up with Nimbus. Like I said earlier, Earlier, it is fully craftable once you get five red borders. The Philotactic Spiral is a legendary energy pulse rifle. It actually does arc damage. It's a high impact frame, slow firing, high damage. This weapon is more accurate when stationary, moving slowly and aiming down sights. We have some other pulse rifles here in the same energy slot. We've got the Stars and Shadow, high impact, but this one actually does solar damage. Then we have the Premonition, high impact pulse rifle that does void damage. So with the Philotactic Spiral, we actually have arc, solar, and void for those high impact frames completing the Holy Trinity. Now, when it comes to the base stats on this pulse rifle, we've got a range of 58, stability 44, handling 26, aim assistance 31, zoom of 18, airborne effectiveness 16, recoil direction 80. So when we stack this up against the other high impact pulse rifles, the Philotactic Spiral has the least range of these three pulse rifles. Stars and Shadow has 62, Premonition has 60. It does have the best stability out of the three of them, sitting at 44. The other ones have 43 and 42. The handling stat is tied with the premonition at 26. The reload speed is worse than these three, sitting at 32, but it does have the best airborne effectiveness out of all three of these. But then again, jumping in the air with a high impact pulse rifle isn't the smartest thing to do. And this thing is sitting right in the middle when it comes to aim assist. One stat that is significantly better than the other two is the recoil direction. Like I said, this has an 80 recoil direction. Ours in shadow only has 64 and premonition only has 77. So it does have that going for it. Now, when it comes to the barrels I would go with something that increases the range and the reason for that is because the recoil direction on this is sitting at 80 like I said earlier so if you put a counterbalance stock on it it's going to bring it up to 95 which pretty much maxes it out so if you were to go with something like arrowhead break that would max out the recoil direction but you would lose out in your range stat and since there's no mod on this that increases the range I think it's smarter to go with a ranged barrel something like hammer forge it's going to give you a plus 10 to your range full bore gives you more range range but it really hurts your stability so I definitely wouldn't go with that extended barrel gives you more range but it hurts your handling so the clear winner in this column for me is hammer forged just because it doesn't hurt any of your other stats for the magazines in my opinion we got three options ricochet rounds high caliber rounds and armor piercing rounds I would choose armor piercing rounds if I use this just for PvE gives you a plus five to range and it does extra damage to combatant shields and it over penetrates targets high caliber rounds is a good option for the crucible giving you a plus five to range and it states that shots from this weapon knock the target back farther helps you win those 1v1s then we got ricochet rounds it's gonna give you a plus five to your range and a plus 10 to your stability and it states that rounds ricochet off hard surfaces in pvp i would probably go with ricochet rounds just because it gives more stats overall compared to high caliber and armor piercing rounds and the first column of trait perks we've got under over fire grip Compulsive Reloader, Shot Swap, Tunnel Vision, Perfect Float, and Keep Away. Not really a fan of most of the perks in this first column. Clear winners for PvP, in my opinion, is Tunnel Vision and Keep Away. Tunnel Vision states that reloading after defeating a target greatly increases target acquisition and aim down sight speed for a short duration. You have to reload within 6 seconds of the kill and you're going to get a plus 20 to your aim assist, negative 20 accuracy cone size, and a bump to your aim down sight speed and handling for 5 seconds. The base aim assist on this Pulse Rifle is 31, so when you get Tunnel Vision active, it's going to bump all the way up to 51. And then if you add a targeting adjuster, that's going to give you another plus 5. It's going to make this Pulse Rifle very sticky. But for me, when it comes to PvP, the clear winner in this first column is Keep Away. This is a new perk that just dropped with Lightfall. It states that it increased reload, range, and accuracy when no combatants are in close proximity. If no enemies are within 15 meters, it grants 10 range, 30 reload speed, and a negative 10 accuracy see cone size so on a pulse rifle this perk is pretty much always going to be active pulse rifles are really bad within 15 meters so you're always going to want to be staying outside of 15 meters which means this perk is always going to be procced and like i said earlier this didn't have the best base range compared to the other pulse rifles but with this perk active it now has more range than the other two and a better reload speed than the other two so clearly keep away is an s tier perk and the best option for pvp in this column and for pve in this column i would probably go with keep away as well i mean compulsive reloader might be good all the other perks not really 
feeling in the first column. Go with Keep Away, in my opinion. Then in the last column of trait perks, we have Elemental Capacitor, Harmony, Gutshot Straight, Frenzy, Head Seeker, Heal Clip, and Volt Shot. Some of the perks that would be good for PvP would be Harmony. It states that upon readying a weapon within three seconds of getting a kill with a different weapon gives you a 20% increase in damage and 15 handling for seven seconds. 20% increase in damage on a high impact. You're definitely going to be able to two burst with this which is really nice. Then we also got Head Seeker. This got reworked recently. It states that after dealing non-precision weapon damage, it increases the precision multiplier by 0.1175, and it also increases your aim assist for a short time. And since you're not always going to be landing crits with this weapon, this perk comes in real handy, especially in the Crucible. Wouldn't really use it for PvE, but the Crucible, definitely a strong perk. Then we also have Kill Clip. Always a great perk to go with in the Crucible. This states that reloading after a kill grants increased damage. This is going to give you a 25% increase in damage for 5 seconds and it can be refreshed. So just like Harmony, this is going to get you those very easy 2 burst kills in the Crucible. And for PvE, it's very very easy to keep this kill clip procced all the time for that extra increase to damage. Then last but certainly not least, we have Volt Shot. Reloading this weapon after defeating a target overcharges this weapon for a short period of time, causing it to jolt the next hit. Upon finishing the reload within 3.8 seconds of a kill, the next weapon hit within 7 seconds applies jolt. Now Volt Shot is my number one pick for this column, even over Kill Clip, because once you jolt a target, they're actually going to be taking increased damage, just like Kill Clip states, but Kill Clip doesn't have the added benefit of actually chaining damage to other nearby guardians. So in my opinion, Volt Shot is like a two for one. I don't think the extra increased damage is as much as Kill Clip at 25%, but it definitely ups the damage. And like I said, you can chain this to other guardians. So in PVE and in PVP, in this last column, I would definitely go with Volt Shot. And then also we got to talk about the basic origin trait on this, the Nanotech Tracer Rockets. It states that upon scoring multiple hits within seconds of each other, it automatically shoots a tracking rocket that matches matches weapons damage type. So essentially, this is just free damage. You do have to land quite a bit of hits on a Guardian in the Crucible, and by the time you do that, they're probably already dead. But if you're going up against a Super in the Crucible, where the other Guardian has damage resistance, it's really easy to get this to proc. And like I said, it's just free damage just for playing the game. Not a bad basic origin trait at all. So Guardians, those are the perks. Those are the stats. What is the God roll for PvP? In my opinion, I would go with Hammer Forged Rifling for the Barrel for that plus 10 in range, ricochet rounds for the magazine for plus 5 in range, plus 10 stability. I would go with keep away for the first perk, going to give you that plus 10 to range, 30 to reload, and a negative 10 accuracy cone size. And then in the last column, I would go with Volt Shot. Then I would try to land a Range Masterwork for that plus 10 in range. And then a Counterbalance mod so we can get that recoil direction all the way up to 95. That would be my god roll for PvP. Another close second for PvP would actually be Tunnel Vision and Kill Clip. Since both of these perks proc at the same time after getting a kill, Tunnel Vision and Kill Clip is also very deadly in the Crucible. And you know what? I gotta say for PvE, I would probably go with the same exact roll that I just mentioned. Keep Away and Volt Shot. Volt Shot is just an S tier perk when it comes to PvE activities. And don't forget Guardians, this weapon is fully craftable so you can get the Enhanced Keep Away and Enhanced Volt Shot on this Pulse Rifle. But with all that being said Guardians, that's going to do it for the video. If you guys found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. Follow me over on Twitch for the live streams and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.